Hello and welcome to the 2023 Heart Women's Volleyball Media Day. I'm your host, Courtney Jackson. Next up for Media Day is Mount Mercy. We got head coach Deb Marlin and senior Mackenzie Murphy. Coach Mackenzie, how are you guys doing today? How are things in Cedar Rapids? We're doing well. Thank you for having us. All right. So, Coach, uh, let's start with you. You have Mackenzie joining you today. She's been with the program for quite a while. Uh, tell us about her and her importance to the program. Yeah, when Ken's told me last year that she was going to come back and use her COVID year, I was ecstatic. Um, you know, I've had high expectations for her since she's walked onto campus, and and I've continually pushed her in um, the gym uh, every day. And that's kind of probably one of the things I admire most about her is that she has allowed me to push her as much as I do in the gym, and she just continues to battle. And um, you know, she knows that maybe we haven't reached milestones with her that that we would want, and so. For me, I, I'm kind of guessing I'll let her speak for herself, but that's kind of why I'm thinking she's back here with us another year is, is to say, hey, I, I want to reach that those levels that I think I'm capable of reaching. Well, Mackenzie, go ahead and touch on that. Where's your head at going into what is officially your last year of college athletics? Um, I think you hit it pretty well. Um, I felt like last season I didn't really get the outcome that I wanted. I did have an ankle injury, and I just felt like I had a lot of unfinished business, so tunnel vision this year and I'm ready to go well looking back what are some of your favorite memories you've had playing for the Mustangs <laughs> um there's a lot of ups and downs throughout the years but I think last year was one of our favorites even though we didn't get the outcome that we wanted with the William Penn match it was a close five set game and then um, we've been teeter-tottering with Grandview and William Penn the past couple of years and we finally got a win against Grandview last year at their place so that felt really good and what kind of confidence does that give you going into this season knowing that, that you did you know reach the milestones that you wanted to how do you build off of that um I think it just shows that we can um it's just the mentality of going out and doing it well coach was your team already had a scrimmage with Kirkwood how did that go good we're happy with it we're, we're a little bit beat up right now um but this isn't the time to stress about that. Uh, so, you know, we pulled a couple from that that scrimmage. And so, you know, that being said, I'm real happy with where we're at and, and how we looked early on in that scrimmage. And for the second straight season, your team was named the Hart Musco Sportsmanship Team Award winner. Uh, how does that mean to you as a coach to see your team earning that award? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see them re receive that, that kind of uh, recognition, you know, I personally, you know, they're a great group of girls. I love them as my own daughters and I'm glad that other people see them as, as positive people and, and people that they enjoy competing against and, and not that team that, you know, we kind of dread being across the net from. So, you know, I, I want to win championships in the end, but, but we'll take those other wins as well. Yes. Yeah, so Mackenzie, from a player's perspective, um, how cool is it to know that you're being recognized for your character and sportsmanship while still being um, one of the competitive teams in the conference? It feels really good. Um, Marlon's always talking about how character is really important, more important than athleticism most of the time. So being able to execute that side of the, the character part as well is really important. Well, Coach, let's talk volleyball. What are some team goals you have set for 2023? Yeah, you know, we talk a lot about just competing in our gym and, and, and walking out each day without regrets and, and looking back and saying, hey, could I have done this better? Could I have done that better? Um, so we, we talk a lot about leaving it all on the floor and and making sure that we're giving our best effort. So, you know, like I said, I think we can compete with with those teams at, at the higher level within our conference. Um, it's just a matter of trying to find a way to, to find that edge to get over the hump a little bit. So we're returning a great core group of girls. You know, we're only losing Maggie. And so we're super excited about where we stand, adding some new pieces um, to those pieces that are returning. So we feel good about where we're at. And when it comes to those new pieces, Mount Mercy is located in a pretty large town in Iowa. You guys are in Cedar Rapids. Um, how much does that help in recruiting to just have those resources in town with lots of activities? Are you guys able to bring in uh, some people, a lot of interest because of that? I, I like to think it it helps a little bit. At the end of the day, those recruits are the only ones that can answer that question. But, you know, Cedar Rapids is a great place. I was born and raised. Um, you know, unfortunately, the flood was a, a huge uh, devastation to our, our community, but in the long run, it, it's made our community a, a much better place. Um, and, you know, there's a lot going on. It's a very vibrant community. And so, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, people feel find value and a level of interest in coming to Cedar Rapids and 
plenty of uh, entertainment uh, for them to um, enjoy. And Mackenzie, tell me a little bit about your academics. What's your major? What are some career goals and that you have for yourself after this year? Um, I am a healthcare administration and marketing major. Um, I think I'm adding a healthcare navigation minor as well, just to with the extra year coming. So my career goals are hopefully medical sales. And then I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to end up, but yeah. Yeah, well, Coach, uh, your men's program and university have been selected by the NAIA to host the next two NAIA Men's Volleyball National Championships. Um, how exciting is that for your program and Mount Mercy as a whole? Yeah, I, I think it's great. You know, Cedar Rapids has always had a, a great tradition of volleyball. And I know on the men's side, Des Moines hosted it for a long time. And so, you know, it's great to be able to bring that to Cedar Rapids. Um, you know, the uh, NJCAA is all has had the... Um, division two tournament here for the last couple of years and the women's side. So it'll be nice to bring the men's side and, and maybe down the road, we can do something on the women's side as well. Yes. And lastly, coach, talk a little bit about your fan base um, and just also how bringing the national championship over, how you think that's going to impact both men's and Williams or women's volleyball uh, when it comes to popularity. Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's just going to continue to grow. We have a lot of clubs um, in the area, mainly on the female side. We do have a couple of, of uh, clubs that do have the boys program as well. So um, and like I said, we have a lot of people that are playing for many years beyond the collegiate level um, within our community. And, and they're always quick to volunteer. I see a lot of familiar faces down at the high school state tournament, um, at the junior college tournament. And so. I, I know I'm I'm going to probably see those faces at the men's tournament as well. Um, we have a lot of club kids that come to camps and that sort of thing, and they'll come out to matches. I'm sure they'll probably be down at that tournament as well. All right. Well, Coach McKenzie, great stuff today, and best of luck to you guys as your season kicks off. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it.